Hello, and in this video, we're going to be creating the top left piece for our trammel toy. Uh, this top left piece, you can see it's kind of got a square shape and then a smaller square on top with some holes cut out and a fillet on the side. Uh, so we're going to use our measurements, our ruler measurements, to create this uh, trammel toy. Uh, so first, I'm in a new document. I've labeled it top left, and I'm just going to start with a sketch. So I'm going to start with a sketch. I'm going to go on the front and turn to a front view. I'm going to start with a rectangle. I'm going to start at the origin and go over and come back and look at my measurement and it looks like it's at 1 and 7 eighths. So I'm going to type in 1.875. So it's at 1 and 7 eighths. Hit enter. Then I need the height of this object since I clicked the front. Uh, so I want to go down to the height. Uh, and we can see the total height is uh, 3 quarters of an inch. And if I go farther down, I can see the top height, box height is 3 eighths. So I know that 3 eighths and 3 eighths is 6 eighths. So I need 3 eighths for my height here. Uh, so that's going to be 0.375. So I'm going to type in 0.375. That gives me my height. Then I'm going to hit my green check to accept. I'll change my view so you can see a little better and we'll extrude it out. Click inside our shape and if we look back at our measurements for our depth or width of the object, it's going to be 1 and 7 eighths again. So 1.875. So I'm going to click on my depth and change it to 1.875 and enter. And that gives me my base. Uh, I'm going to create this in the same orientation as we see here, the same ISO view. So I'm going to start my next level in the box back corner and extrude it upwards. So I'm just going to sketch on top of the surface I already have. Uh, and we can see it's got a length of 1 and 3 fourths and a width of that's also 1 and 3 fourths. So it's going to be a square on top. So I come back, do my sketch, and put it on top, turn to my top view, and we do a rectangle. Start at that same origin location, uh, bring it over, and type in 1.75 enter 1.75 enter and that gives us our square on top hit our green check to accept uh, we've already seen that when we extrude it up it goes 3 eighths of an inch or 0.375 so I'm going to click inside the shape type in 1.375 and then hit my green check to accept uh, so this gives me my basic shape uh, next we need to add in our features so it shows we have a 0.25 inch fillet on the side and then four different holes on top. So I'll start with the fillet. It comes on this left hand side. I'll just click inside that gap here. I'll roll in so you can see a little better. I'll click inside that gap and it says that's going to be 0.25 and enter. I hit my green check to accept and that gives us our view. I'll roll back out for you. Uh, next we need our holes and it says the view or drill is from the bottom. So we want to do this from the bottom. Uh, when we're looking at it, hole 2 is in that back corner by the origin, and then we need to work our way around kind of from there. So I'm going to start by setting points, and then we'll just use a hole tool to create these holes, since some of them involve counter bores. Uh, so I'm just going to turn to the bottom of my shape, bottom of my object, and I'm just going to sketch on the bottom, and I'm going to first create some construction lines. You could create points and do some constraints that way, uh, but I'm just going to do uh, construction line. So I'm going to do a construction line across and I'm going to make sure it's uh, perpendicular or horizontal. Then I'll do a second one across again perpendicular and then hit escape. Do a two up and down as well. So I'm going to go up from the top straight down so I'm perpendicular to the bottom. Uh, hit escape and do one last one same way from the top straight down and I'm going to put it on my head. I'll hit escape, then I'm going to dimension, it tells us if we look back, it's 0.375 inches from each edge. So I'm going to dimension from a line to the edge as 0.375. And I'll do the same thing on the other side, from the line to the edge, and it's going to be 0.375. Uh, then I'm going to go from the bottom line to the base and make that 0.375, and from the top line to the top and make that 0.375. Uh, so now everything's constrained. I'm just going to set some points on those corners then. So when both the lines are yellow, I'll click and it places my point fully constrained at that where those lines intersect. So I'll do that for all four spots and that gives me my four spots for uh, this the holes.
hit my green check. Uh, so you can kind of see where we're at in our object. You can see that front corner where the cutouts are. Uh, that's where hole number uh, three is located. It's going to be up here on the top right. So I'm going to show you hole three first. If that's the first one I was looking at. So we'll do the hole tool. I'm going to select spot three. Uh, then we'll come back and look and we see hole three is 0 0.209 inches through. So I come back to my tools. I want a simple through. And I'm going to have a diameter of 0 0.209. Hit enter or click your green check. And that gives you that cutout. Then I want to hit go back to sketch three and click the unclick the eye so that you can see our points. So now we want another one of our spots. So we, have, we look back, the one by the origin is going to be the cat corner. So that's going to be number two. Uh, and that's 0 0.2483. So we come back to our bottom and we select our hole tool. And we'll select that spot. Uh, simple through still and 0.248. Hit our enter or your green check, creates your hole, and we have our second hole. Uh, the last two holes are the same size. If we look, they're both the 0.189 through with a counterboard. The symbol looks kind of like a staple 0.310, and it goes down 0.165. Same thing for hole four. So we can do both those holes at the same time. Uh, so to do that, I'm just hole tool. And select both those points. I'm going to change my type to a counter boy. Uh, it's still a through hole. And then we need to set our diameters. So first one was 0.168. Uh, the overall counter boy was 0.310 diameter. And the distance was 0.165. Uh, once you have all those set, you hit your green check to accept. And that gives us our shape. So hopefully this helps you to create. The uh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the appearance since it's yellow in my picture. I'm just going to make mine kind of a yellowish color in appearance. It's more of a off yellow in this case, but we'll, we'll go with that for now. Uh, so hopefully this helps you to create your top left corner of your tra trammel toy. Thank you. Good luck.